This is a quick video tutorial on creating a sampled console application in Visual Studio and build a Docker image for that. Then we will run the Docker image to see the console output of the application. I am assuming you have already Docker Desktop and Visual Studio with latest .NET SDK available in the machine. Installation of those prerequisites including adding image to the container is out of scope of this video. You can expect more videos covering those topics later from me. This demo is uh, having three steps. Uh, first we will create a sample console application which will output hello world and will publish the build to a local folder then we will create a docker image consuming the already published build and finally we will run the docker image so uh, we will see the console output from the console application let us uh, start with the step one create a console application using visual studio open visual studio i am using the 2019 version of visual studio create a new project choose the console application type next let me choose a different folder i will go with console app the same name make sure to choose the uh, latest version i am using the 5 execute to see if everything is working perfectly excellent we can see the output hello world from this program now let us see how we can publish it's very easy just right click on the solution explorer the project name right click on the project name publish click publish I will be publishing to a local folder that you have so many options available including a docker container registry here I will go with the folder folder again I'm not changing the uh, path finish now click publish Now if you uh, go to the project folder, this will be the structure, uh, inside the bin folder you have debug and release, we published uh, in the release folder, so this is the project we have, this is the uh, uh, binaries we are going to deploy in the docker. Next let us go to the step 2, create docker image. So we will be creating the docker image using the command line tool but before that uh, we need a docker file so let us uh, create within the visual studio itself just add a new file i will add a text file and name it docker file but this is going to create a text file we do not require the extension so you can remove that okay now we require a from command from where the base images uh, need to be copied so i will use the microsoft container registry there are many types of uh, images available I am, I am just using this .NET runtime file uh, you can uh, download other others from the link which I will uh, provide below next once the image is uh, copied then you need to copy the published uh, binaries from your local machine to this image so the source path is this one uh, we do not require the full path here because uh, we will be 
using the command line tool within the project folder only and you have to make sure the slash is uh, compatible with the OS the image OS uh, the uh, uh, docker image we are using is a Linux one so we have to use this and this is the source and destination I am using a dot so it means the current folder now we have to tell the uh, docker file that which file is going to be the uh, entry point entry point so this is a dotnet application so dotnet command is required then see we have an exe as well as dll the exe will not uh, run in the linux os right so we will copy the file name of the dll so dot net and this dll this is going to be the entry point we have to so save this next we can take the console application command window so for uh, first we have to switch the for, uh, for directory to the project folder okay this is our folder and if you check the docker file is also available here right so the command for building a uh, image is very simple docker build and i am going to give the tag name my image this is the image name and you can find the docker file and everything here the current folder dot you can see we do not have any kind of errors so we are good to execute the docker image so we have reached the step 3 run docker image so for executing the docker image it's also very simple docker just run and the name of the image my image we got the output thank you